The Dorothy Hodgkin Fellowship Scheme is a five-year fellowship for outstanding scientists at an early stage of their research career who, due to personal circumstances, require a flexible working pattern. Russell Binions received a fellowship in 2008 for his work on chemical vapour deposition. I actually went to work in industry for a year in a company making spectacle lenses and camera lenses and things. Fortunately, my old supervisor, PhD supervisor, happened to have just received a huge amount of funding on something related to what I'd done for my PhD. I spoke to him and he said, oh, come back, come and have an interview and we'll see what happens. Got the job and it sparked my interest and, and you know, having had the industrial experience and realising that, you know, having the freedom to follow your ideas and things made me really set to, to work in academia. Having a fellowship really does set you apart from from a people and makes it makes things a bit easier and you know you get your, your career acceleration is, is yeah it's undeniable. One of the reasons why Dorothy Hodgkin Fellowship was particularly good for me is because I have uh, some mental health issues. I was basically diagnosed a few years ago with a relatively minor bipolar condition. Certainly for me at that time where there was a lot of uncertainty and difficulty um, to yeah to, to be able to have the kind of knowledge that there was a certain comfort factor and a certain amount of support behind me, you know, partly from the, the nature of the fellowship and, and partly because the department were quite understanding. So I was doing a lot of work with chemical vapour deposition and I was interested in ways to, to change that process to try and improve or change at least the, the properties of the materials we were depositing. So we started looking, or I started looking at introducing electric fields into the deposition process as a way to, to try and change the, the growth, so you can change crystal orientation, you can change the surface structure. So we use this, this kit here, which is chemical vapour deposition rig. You deposit a film out of vapours from chemicals. Start out with some, some kind of precursor material in these, these metal pots. They're, they're heated up so you get some gas phase uh, amounts and vapour pressure in the gas phase. You've got some substrate you're coating on, you know, a piece of glass or what have you, and that's heated. You get a reaction of the gas phase precursors and you're left with a, or hopefully left with a solid film of the material you're, you're trying to make. The anti-reflection coatings on, on, your, on your camera lenses or your, your glasses lenses, uh, transparent conducting oxide layers, which you have in all of your, you know, your smartphones, uh, touch screens, your televisions, all of these kind of things you know, need this technology. In this reactor, we'll have two Two, two layers essentially. You've got some top plate and some bottom plate and we'll, we'll have the chemicals flowing in between the two and there'll be an electric field set up between the two, the two plates and so that electric field could have all sorts of interactions. There's an element of serendipity you know which is why I think you know having a, having a bit of a freedom to play and, and just try things out is, is actually quite an important part of science. That's the one thing that I think that the, the fellowship really did for me is it allowed me to follow some ideas. At the moment I've got three PhD students, uh, an MSc student who's just started, five fourth year project students and then another three third year individual project students. Getting them all to work together is uh, a challenge as, as with any, uh, any group of people but one of the things that we do like to do is uh, we have uh, the, the, the Team Binion's Pantathlon. One of the really good things about fellowship is that you, you've got a bit of money for travel, so you're able to go and make connections and uh, we've, you know, produce new collaboration networks and all this kind of thing. Whenever I go somewhere, I'll always pick some kind of souvenir up to remind me of it. Um, basically, I'm not allowed any of them at home, so they're all here. Pretty much everything you see in the lab is, uh, uh, at least the hardware and stuff like that, for, for me, is, is stuff that was funded from the Royal Society, yeah, uh, Dorothy Hodgkin Fellowship. So, this wouldn't exist without the Royal Society support.